Hello there. This week's bedtime story is all about a little brown bear who wants to find the best birthday present in the whole world for his mummy. I wonder if you can guess by looking at the tree what it was he wanted to get for his mummy. So this story is called Little Bear's Special Wish by Gillian Loberall. The sun was still in bed when Little Brown Bear crept out into the shadowy woods. I wish, I wish, he whispered. You're up early, Little Brown Bear, called Lippity Rabbit. What are you wishing for? It's my mummy's birthday, said Little Brown Bear, and I wish I could find her the most special present in all the world for her. I'll help you, said Lippity Rabbit. So off they went along the winding path. Little pools of moonlight danced around their feet. In the middle of the woods was a big rock. Little brown bear sat down for a moment to think. High above him glittered a star, so big and so bright he could almost touch it. I know. I could give my mummy a star, he said. That would be a very special present. Little brown bear gave a little jump, but he could not reach the star. He gave a very big jump. But still he could not reach the star. Then Little Brown Bear had an idea. I know, he said. If we climb to the very top of the hill, then we will be able to reach the stars. From the top of the hill, the stars looked even brighter and much nearer too. Little Brown Bear stretched up on his tiptoes, but the stars were still too far away. Then Little Brown Bear had a very good idea indeed. I think you can guess what his idea was. I know, he said. We must build a big, big tower to the stars. I'll help you, said Lippity Rabbit. Together they piled the biggest stones they could find, one on top of the other. Then they stepped back and looked. A stone stairway stretched to the stars. Now I shall reach a star for my mummy, said Little Brown Bear happily. He climbed right to the top and stretched out a paw. But still he couldn't reach the stars. I know, called Lippity Rabbit. If I climb on your shoulders, then I can knock a star down with my long loppy ears. Lippity Rabbit scrabbled onto Little Brown Bear's shoulders. He stretched up his long loppy ears. He waggled them furiously. Be careful, Lippity, called Little Brown Bear. You're making me wobble. Suddenly, Little Brown Bear felt something tapping his foot. Can I help you? croaked a voice. Oh, why yes, very small frog, said Little Brown Bear. Are you any good at jumping? Very small frog puffed out his chest. Just watch me, he said. High into the air he flew and landed right between Lippity Rabbit's long, loppy ears. Can you reach the brightest star from there? said Little Brown Bear. No problem, shouted Very Small Frog. He took a mighty breath. Look out, stars, here I come. Very Small Frog gave a great push with his strong back legs. Up, 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 he sailed. Liberty Rabbit's long, loppy ears twirled round and round. Help, he shouted, somebody save me. Backwards and forwards he swayed, and backwards and forwards swayed Little Brown Bear. With a mighty crash, the stone tower toppled to the ground. 
and down and down tumbled Lippity Rabbit and Little Brown Bear. I can't breathe, Lippity gasped, Little Brown Bear, you're sitting right on my nose. Then Very Small Frog sailed down from the stars and landed on Lippity Rabbit's head. I'm sorry, Little Brown Bear, he said. I jumped right over the moon, but I still couldn't reach the stars. Little Brown Bear sat up carefully. His nose was scratched and his head hurt. Now my special wish will never come true, he said. I shall never find a star for my mummy. Oh, don't be sad, little brown bear, said Lippity Rabbit, and he gave him a great big hug. A tear ran down little brown bear's nose and splashed into a tiny pool at his feet. As he rubbed his eyes, Little Brown Bear saw something that danced and sparkled in the shining water. Surely it was his star! Little Brown Bear jumped up with excitement. Now I know what to do, he cried. Off he ran down the hillside. Uh, wait for us, called Lippity Rabbit and Very Small Frog. Through the ferny woods they ran over the silver meadows until they reached the stream. For a long time they hunted along the sandy shore until Little Brown Bear found just what he was looking for. Then carefully, very carefully, he carried it all the way home. And if you can see, lovely shiny bits there. Happy birthday, Mummy, he cried. Into his mother's lap he placed a pearly shell that shone like a rainbow. There, in the heart of the shell, a tiny pool of water quivered. And in that pool, a very special star shimmered and shook. The star that had made a little bear's birthday wish come true. Liberty Rabbit and Very Small Frog helped me find the shell, but I caught the star all by myself, said Little Brown Bear proudly. Mother Bear knelt down and gave him a great big hug. Thank you all very much, she said. This is a very special birthday present indeed. Can you see? The end. Oh, how lovely. So he got his star after all, didn't he? So I hope you enjoyed that story. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next week for another story. Good night. <laughs>